Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome again to the Salesforce uh, Networking Garden here at MWC 19. I'm Ronnie Brandt from the Salesforce Marketing Team, and we're excited to bring you yet another session today with an amazing partner in Nokia. Um, they have an awesome app exchange app uh, that you can help uh, engage your customers in a much better way. Uh, before we get started, do you want to remind everyone that since Salesforce and many of our partners are publicly traded companies to make your purchase decisions based on products that are available in the market today. Uh, with that, again, I want to give a nice warm thank you to everyone, not only within our Ohana, but for coming out today to learn a little bit more and share precious time from your day with us here at Mobile World Congress. Uh, with that, before we introduce Sandra from Nokia, I wanted to show you a quick video just to set the mood a little bit here. The way we engage is evolving at a rapid pace. The way as we engage is evolving change. at a rapid pace. You are challenged as to respond in ways change. that inspire loyalty. You are challenged to respond in ways that Nokia inspire loyalty and grow revenue. Nokia can help you deliver superior customer experience. The Nokia can help you deliver that matter. Your customer experience intelligent in care systems that matter. Integrated the Nokia with the Salesforce intelligent service care system offering integrated with the Salesforce service cloud and offers industry-leading leading troubleshooting workflows and customer satisfaction. Agent Enabling a full and customer range of satisfaction. Customer enabling care use a full range of proactive and customer care use cases. Assisted, from field proactive and upsell care to assisted and field like care and upsell opportunities with business and applications. By connecting we support a seamless with business applications. For customers we support a their channel of choice for your customers. Agents are across their channel of choice with a single customizable work environment. With a single customizable work environment in the Salesforce service cloud. Workflows are customizable and based on your agent's workflows are customizable and powered by machine learning to drive next and powered by machine learning to drive and boost key KPIs, saving time and boosting key KPIs helps drive customer satisfaction, brand loyalty, and customer satisfaction, brand loyalty, and revenue experience. You can reinvent the customer care experience, one user journey at a time. All right, we invite you to come on in and take a seat, and let's give a warm welcome to Sandra Lowenstein from Nokia. Thank you, thank you, very happy to be here. Hi, I'm Sandra, I'm um, Head of Marketing for Customer Care at Nokia, and I'm thrilled to be here today. Thanking, I'd like to thank Salesforce, of course, for inviting us here to, um, to talk a little bit about what we're doing uh, with our partnership with Salesforce in the area of customer care. So for those of you who don't know, uh, we have a long-standing history in customer care. We have 300 customers around the world, uh, and we save them millions of dollars in transaction costs around call center activity with respect to reduced handling time, first call resolution, those key, those key KPIs. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is, is that capability, but in the context of competitive advantage and what that means for operators to, to work with, with partners like Nokia and Salesforce to use customer service to gain market share, to gain competitive advantage in a very, very um, uh, competitive and, uh, and tight market. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through a business model that I like to share uh, around competitive advantage from McKinsey. Uh, they're a large consulting firm that does a lot of uh, research work in the area of customer service and customer care. Uh, I'm then going to spend a couple of minutes about why that competitive advantage is important from this, the vantage point of operators with respect to our partnership. And then I'm going to go into the Nokia Intelligent Care System in a little bit more detail, which is our solution that we have on the App Exchange today. And then I'm going to look to some future use cases that we're developing uh, in the areas of field care and assist, um, field care and, and bots that are coming up uh, this year. So let's get started. So this is the, the uh, McKinsey model for customer care and customer service. Now it's impossible to read with the sunshine, even though I'm loving it up here. But basically, the Venn diagram has, has, is, is representing the key um, pain points that, that, that we all share in this industry. The first one, being able to um, achieve operational efficiencies, that's the first. The second is, of course, our omni-channel approach, being able to engage with customers in the moments that matter to them in the right channel of their choice. And the third is revenue. And I think um, for a long time, customer care has always been focused on reducing OPEX, reducing OPEX, how can I save costs? And I think it's, it's really time for us to, to change that perspective and look, how, look at um, 
what opportunities there are to, to make customer service impact brand, impact loyalty of your customers, it, its ability to reduce churn, and what kind of advantages that can bring. And McKinsey actually has some numbers that state that, that companies across all industries, not just telecom, but across industries, can save um, upwards to, four, can generate upwards to 14% additional revenue by focusing on customer experience. And of course, service is a very large part of that. They also um, have some stats that talk about, you know, 50 to 25% reduction in OPEX costs for companies, again, that focus on customer care and customer experience. And when you think of really great experiences, um, you know, telecommunications doesn't come to mind. You think of Amazon and Uber and how great that is to consume their products and services. There's no reason why telecom can't move in that direction, and that's what this partnership is all about. So Nokia, um, we've been rated number one in, uh, by Analysis Mason, a large research firm for um, telco software. We have a lot of industry prizes. We're first in device management, so service orchestration, et cetera. Um, Salesforce, obviously leading CRM provider, leading customer engagement platform. The reason the two of us have come together to, to look at um, what, what shared services we can offer is the fact that, these comp that there's very complementary strengths here. Right? We were bringing the, the front end business applications of Salesforce and being able to combine that with our network and device insights to provide a very holistic view to agents um, in terms of troubleshooting and, in, um, and, and resolving issues in, in the customer care environment. Bringing it down to customer service a little bit more specifically, so across the top here, if you can see it, we've got our, our major use cases, right? We've got proactive care, self-care, assisted care, and field care. And proactive care is something that we take uh, really um, seriously at Nokia. Uh, it just means the ability to uh, proactively resolve issues for your subscribers, for your customers before they even happen. And it's a cornerstone of our solution um, throughout their portfolio. Assisted care, this is our first joint solution with Salesforce. It's called the Nokia Intelligent Care System, the title of the presentation. This is available on the App Exchange and it's particularly directed at assisted care for, for or aging care in the call centers. And I will get into a little bit more details around self-care and, uh, and field care in a minute because I think those two are, are really hot topics for this industry at the moment. When we look at the Nokia Intelligent Care Assistant application, we're talking about um, using the service cloud here, the Salesforce service cloud for the case management details to understand what the communication preferences are for a particular subscriber. We're bringing in Nokia uh, customer care troubleshooting applications, our troubleshooting platform to drive uh, next, next best actions with respect to issue resolution. And we also are able to pull in a, a number of integration points, which is a, a large, differentiator for us, whether it be network insights, customer care analytics data, um, and device management data. And those, of course, have a number of, of advantages, right? We're, we're providing that in a single interface, right? We don't have to have five or six or seven applications open at once. That's a pretty standard um, uh, differentiator. But really, um, the value comes from, from combining that, that case management view with with automated um, workflows that are driven by machine learning for the, that are specific to the telco environment, right? These aren't general. We've been in the telco space a long time. We have reusable workflows for, for over a thousand use cases. We know our stuff in the, in the telco domain. And of course, to support omni-channel care. Um, this is particularly important, especially when you want to reuse workflows across channels, right? You don't want your subscribers to be, to be using their web application and then having to repeat themselves over and over again as they, as they try to get an issue resolved. Reusable workflows is, is key. So I'm just going to pause here for a minute and I'm actually going to show you a very short 40 second clip of how this is actually working in the application. The first thing you'll notice is a completely integrated screen. We have the Intelligent Care Assistant, which represents Nokia's technical troubleshooting capabilities that are integrated into the Salesforce Service Cloud or Service Console. These screens are completely customizable based on agent preferences and can integrate additional communication channels such as chat. Down below, we see um, some simplified workflows. These are based on the issue at hand and agent expertise. They're driven by machine learning um, algorithms developed by Bell Labs to ensure that any issue resolution is um, 
done quickly, accurately, and with minimal handling time and transfer time. So there, you just saw a short clip of, of a very, you know, um, typical case in terms of work walking through that interface. And again, the benefits really are to reduce the customer effort, the subscriber effort, and also age and time in terms of being able to generate those efficiencies. So we talked a little bit about assisted care, what's coming next for Nokia and Salesforce in terms of joint applications in customer service. One of the ones that um, will be coming out shortly in a couple of months is our um, bot application. And in, um, you know, many operators in the industry are using bot technology specifically around sales and marketing. There's also a very strong opportunity here for customer service. Um, allowing bots to handle all of, a lot of the simple and routine tasks that agents normally would, like resetting a password, and allowing them to either um, perform more complex technical troubleshooting or um, even generate some upsell opportunities. So that is another uh, application that's coming ahead. And also field services, and I really feel that this is probably one of our the strongest use cases coming forward. Um, field services has always been a challenge especially for um, smaller operators uh, challenged by integrating tools and processes for field care. And what's unique about this one is that um, uh, Salesforce has their lightning, uh, field service lightning application for workforce management, so scheduling, um, that kind of thing. And what we're doing is we're giving the ability of those uh, field techs uh, to troubleshoot on the spot in real time, perform real time di diagnostics through the troubleshooting. So we're completely integrating that workflow, um, workforce management application with troubleshooting to provide um, uh, a, a, a greater efficiencies, of course, there also. And, um, you know, reducing truck rolls is, is such a large challenge for, for everyone. So I, um, I think this holds a great deal of promise. Switching gears for a second, um, one of the things I, that we're also doing largely to support um, enterprise customers of operators is looking at how we can take that same customer care model and apply it to the care of things, right? We've seen predictions that um, there will be over 25 billion devices in the market by 2020. And that creates several challenges with respect to managing those devices. Some are low power, some are mission critical. Um, how we're going to care for those devices, how are we going to troubleshoot them, and how can we can monetize them. And this is a direction that we're going uh, forward with. Um, Nokia is number one in device management. We're going to leverage that capability. And again, using the Salesforce Service Cloud to deliver that service. So in summary, we looked at um, customer care's competitive advantage that's being enabled through our partnership with Salesforce. We talked a little bit about the Nokia Intelligent Care Assistant for assisted care, um, creating agent efficiencies and lowering customer effort. We looked at self-care improvement through the, the bot technology that's coming out uh, in a couple months, and <clears throat> as well as field care through, through Field Lightning and then of course managing and monetizing care of things. If you want to see any of our demos, we're here in Hall 3, and a colleague of mine uh, will be presenting here in the theater tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, and he's going to cover um, how Nokia and Salesforce are working together to um, provide a complete customer journey through from marketing to sales and service. So I welcome you to, to join us there as well. Thank you.